Hey Van fans, we're actually going to do an Airstream tour today. Um, this is actually a Airstream that we've owned for four years and that we're actually going to sell. It's a Sovereign 1973 Airstream um, with a center bath, which is pretty rare um, and are desired because a lot of the ones with the rear baths, the, um, the butt started to sag because all the weight was back there. So I'm gonna go over all of the things we've done to this to um, actually improve it and uh, completely renovate it. So we're gonna start off with the outside and then we're gonna go inside. So, so starting off in the front, we've done a lot of things. Let me show you some of those things. So we start off with two 40 gallon um, aluminum tanks. Um, we have only used in our ownership of this a half a gallon. We got a half a gallon left or half, a, I'm sorry, half a tank left here and then a full tank here. So we've never used any of this tank. It's completely full of propane. Um, there is a quick select. Um, it will auto switch over from side to side. So we added that as well. So that's all been added, all brand new here. Um, here is a brand new electric um, hoist. So it'll lift it up and down or jack stand, you should call it. Um, and then we have a brand new as well here, the uh, brake uh, piece. So that goes on and we'll pull your electric brakes if for some reason your trailer comes unhooked. So more important is some really cool technology stuff here that you can see if you look closely in the front here, we've added basically two 50, what is it, is it 50? 12 volt, 50 amp, yep. So two 12 foot, 12 volt, 50 amp. So each one's 50 amp, um, DC to DC chargers. So a lot of people don't even know what this means. So let me explain it. So basically, we can recharge the battery pack in this Airstream in like an hour-ish. Um, we're getting 100 amps of power coming from the tow vehicle to charge the lithium batteries. We have 700 amp hours of lithium in here. I'm gonna show you that as we get in there, which is really impressive. That is charged through this cable right here. So there's an additional cable, it's an Anderson connector. You'll have to pull off of your tow vehicle and, and have an Anderson connector on the back, but that's pretty easy to do. I can even show you how to do that if you end up purchasing the Airstream. And that will connect into those DC to DC chargers and charge your batteries very fast. The other thing that's cool is if you look over here, there's two Anderson um, connectors as well. Probably go below. You can see below are the two Anderson connectors here, and those connectors will connect up to solar panels. So we have a solar array um, that we actually pull away from the actual um, vehicle as well. So now you know we can charge with solar off of that. We can charge from the tow vehicle. Um, and then you can also charge from shore, which I'll show you in a few minutes. So on the front here, I think that covers everything. We would also throw in these Anderson um, buckets, which are amazing to level your, uh, your rig. This sits a little higher. We raised it so we can get into a lot more sites um, uh, while we're boondocking and stuff. So it is probably about four inches higher than a standard Airstream. Um, we wanted that so we didn't have that scraping rear end when you pull into parking spots and stuff. Um, also on the front, we added the rock guards. Um, the only damage to this whole coach um, that wouldn't be considered like near perfect would be in this corner. There was some damage. I don't know if they, I think they hit a tree or something at one point with while they were pulling it out, like a smaller tree. Um, so there's a little bit of a dent here. It's behind here. Um, and then there's a little bit, you can see a little ripple here as well, um, but nothing major. The only other thing cosmetic wise, is actually in this front window. I just didn't replace it because we never had a problem with it. Um, so we did add this uh, visor as well, um, which is nice when you're on a site because you can actually open it up and it provides you nice shade and stuff um, and field view. But as you can see here, this window has a little tiny bit of condensation in it. It's the only window in the whole coach that has any condensation. Um, you can see here, um, the rest of them, I'm sorry, this one is the one, it's not that one. It's this one has a little condensation. You can see the seal needs to be rebuilt. So this window could be rebuilt or you could replace this whole window if you wanted. Um, it's never bothered us because it doesn't look 
Um, with the tinted glass, it doesn't look bad, to be honest with you. Um, this window opens up as well. So those windows are fixed on the sides, and this center window does open. We have replaced all of the, um, the trailer lights um, with LED. So everything on the whole coach is LED, including inside and the outside. So those are all LED lights on the back as well. I'll point you those out as well. We added a new antenna on the roof. Um, a lot of people like that you can still see the original um, Airstream number on there. So you can see it's 3429 was the original number. Um, so someone did register this with the Airstream Club of America. And then we'll continue down the side here. So just to show you that these lights work too, we do have the outside light that once again is a um, LED light and your moon light over here. Also, I'll just show you that those work by going in real quick. So you can see that that comes on and off. And then... Is that coming on and off? So those two switches do work. Um, so those are still working. On the outside of the coach as well, um, we have put the white reflective ceramic coating, um, reflective paint on the roof, like you're gonna get in a more modern Airstream um, that reflects heat out. It's supposed to save you about 15% of your energy or let 15% less of that heat come through. So that's all been done. We completely, um, cleaned it to the finish and then I'll put it on there. We'll try to get some um, rooftop views. Of One of the points of weakness on these Airstreams are the vistaed windows, the ones up at the top. Um, those have all been completely removed and completely rebuilt and completely reinstalled. So they are watertight. Um, we have no problems with any leaks. We've been on some major storms um, and have no problems with them leaking at all, which is a really good upgrade to a coach of this age. Um, the other thing we did was we added a deadbolt uh, to the main door. So that runs off of a regular house key. You can actually change a key, which is a quick set, um, easy, quick, quick change key. Um, but also, we've never used it, but we also have the uh, code that can be programmed in there as well. And then we can show you how to do that if you'd like as well. Um, screen door was in good condition, so we didn't do anything with that. Um, the main door also was in good condition, except for it had that ugly skin on the inside. So we actually removed the skin, so you got that stainless steel look. Um, we've just been adding stickers of places we've gone. So you can see that this goes in here, and then you just turn your key like normal, and you're good to go. The staircase also has an additional fold downstairs. So you can see you have a double step. We typically like to use this um, step here that we purchased. Um, we would include that in the sale as well. So you get this and then be able to step up and everything works great. This also folds up like that. So completely streamlined. And then when you're actually at a site that you like, you just drop it down and you're good to go. Um, here is the battery. We had to rebuild all this lock here. Um, and you can see this is the 100 amp lithium battery. So this is a 12 volt 100 amp lithium battery. Um, super lightweight. This is 100 amps of the total of 700. I have two 300 amp batteries in there as well, which I'll show you as well. And this just turns and then you lock it like that. We did add a different style water filler. Um, this was actually, you just use the uh, key to open and pour potable water into the water tank. The water tank is also brand new. Um, we replaced that, it's a 42 gallon, the original style. Um, as we work our way further, um, I did add a 12 volt outlet here. Uh, this was for a um, Traeger electric uh, portable grill that we used to use. We used to plug it in here, um, but you can use it for whatever you want. It's 12 volt um, cigarette lighter. So uh, under here is a, uh, um, basically a pop it and you have the two regular uh, 110 outlets. Uh, we do not have an inverter on this. I never needed it. I like to keep this whole thing 12 volt um, so that we're getting the best energy usage. But if you wanted to add an inverter, it would be pretty easy to add to the system. Brand new wheels. Um, we also like the X chocks um, for um, basically stopping the vehicle, but also stopping um, wobbling and everything inside the coach. Um, we also added brand new axles. So these axles are brand new as well. Uh, completely redone um, axles on there as well. Uh, once again, the Vista windows were redone here. 
On the roof, we added a brand new air conditioning. We never even hooked it up. Um, it's basically just needs to hook up to the 110. Once again, we don't use this thing on 110 very often. However, if you wanted to, um, we have all the parts to use it as an electric or the air conditioning. Um, you just need to hook up the 110 and then put a thermostat in there. I have all those parts that would be included with the sale. Um, we also have a heater element that goes in there. So if you wanna heat the coach as well, you can heat off of that air conditioning unit. Um, on the roof as well, we also replaced all of the air, the max fan air, or we replaced all the fans with brand new max fans. We'll show you those as well. There's three of them on the roof. Okay, so we're on the back of the coach now. Um, once again, all of the lights have been replaced with LED lights, so everything here um, is LED. I also completely um, took these apart and rebuilt them. There's also a really nice, cool feature on this. They have the, um, the fiber optic um, light testers. So there's a piece that's on the side of the coach where you can actually look at through your rear view mirror to make sure all the lights are working. And I'll show you that in a second as well. Um, those are all brand new as well. Once again, you can see the ghost of the 3429 um, Airstream. This was all replaced with a brand new piece and then also LED there. Um, one cool feature we have on here is we do have WeBoost. We're gonna include that system with the van as well. So that helps uh, boost your cell signal. Um, it'll boost your uh, cell signal, typically one bar, um, which is enough to typically get you um, at least enough cell signal to maybe do a text or an emergency phone call, those kind of things. Uh, this actually, uh, you just pull this and then undo this piece here and then flip it up and it gives you that high mass antenna. And then don't forget to take it down when you leave. I did once, almost hit a bridge. I didn't, I saw this weird um, uh, shadow and I knew that, um, that I had to, I was like, what is that shadow? And then I realized what it was. So uh, this window also opens, including the two side windows in the bedroom. Um, this also lifts up. There's no storage under there. I left it open, but you could put a, a metal pan on the bottom of there and have additional storage there if you want as well. I'm coming down the side. Okay, so we're on the other side of the coach right now. And we really wanna show you some of the features here. Number one, um, if your wiring is reversed at the campsite, this will turn red. It's designed to do that to let you know if you have your wires backwards. Um, that wouldn't be on your trailer. It would just be if this campsite was reverse polarity. So it will let you know, hey, this I probably wouldn't wanna plug in here very long. Um, this is that little thing here that you can look down through your rear view mirror that will show you the fiber optics to let you know if your tail lights are out or on. Um, we did install a door to enter through the garage. This is all underneath the, um, the bed, and we'll show you that from the inside, but you have tons of storage, and this is really nice because you can grab like all of your stuff, like your electric cables and your uh, leveling blocks and everything else that you need for camping, basically, is all accessible here, and that does lock. This is stainless steel as well, which is really nice. Um, this is just an access panel that doesn't really, we don't really use it anymore. It was to access some plumbing. It's not there, but you can access the additional under the bed if you like. I've never taken that off. Um, here, a really cool feature. Uh, we added a outdoor shower um, faucet. So you have hot and cold water here um, with also a shower. And you can also hook it on there if you like. And then I also added here, um, a shower bar. So we have a bar that will come with it as well, as well as a curtain. And it comes with a big loop that will come out to about here. And it comes out and comes over and comes back and just hangs on these two um, pieces here. And then you can take an outdoor shower and have some privacy as well if you want. So that's what that's all about. A little addition. This is the window to the bathroom. As we work further down here, this is the hookup for the curb water or the city water. So you just un um, put a hose on here and uh, you can run it uh, constantly for city water or you can also, f uh, you probably could fill your tanks up depending on which way you got the valves on. I usually fill up the tanks with the water fill from the other side. So, but this is for street water. So if you're hooked up permanently or you're at a campsite where you're using it more, um, you're con you have connections, you can connect directly up to the water that also has a pressure wa um, pressure reducer on it so it will uh, reduce it to 40 psi so you don't blow any of your faucets in the inside 
Uh, this is a tankless hot water tank, so it'll just keep on making hot water as needed. It's, um, it is a propane unit, so it's hooked up to those propane tanks. Um, this is an access panel. Once again, we don't use it behind the fridge, but if you need to unplug or plug the fridge in or whatever, you can do that here. Um, beyond there as well is a um, cable outlet and then your, um, your electric shore power, which is all brand new as well. We ran a brand new shore power connection as well. So, um, and that is everything on this side. So now we're gonna actually go inside the coach and look at all the cool stuff we have in there. Um, once again, here's that deadbolt. As you can see, it's using just a regular house key and you just open it up. There is a locking mechanism here to hold the door so the wind doesn't grab it, um, which is nice as well. And then the screen door um, also opens very easily. So we completely gutted the inside of this Airstream all the way down to beyond the in these inner skins. Um, we also replaced the whole floor, um, all the plywood on the floor, so that's all new as well. And um, we also replaced all the lights or added a lot of LED lights, as you can see. So it's super bright in here. Um, we also have, this is that outdoor light once again. And then we have a nice light here. We typically use this most of the time when we're camping because it uses very, very little power. And we can go, we could probably run this the whole time we're camping and never turn it off if we wanted. Um, from the front of the coach, um, we did name this coach Two Junes. Um, you can change it, obviously, but we named it Two Junes because it took us two Junes to build it. So that's the reason we named it Two Junes. Um, these accordion doors still do work. So if you do like to close stuff off while you're traveling, you can close everything off if you wanted from both sides. Um, they're nice storage units here. There is a the old um, generator controller there. It does nothing, just so you know. So that's all garbage still, but it, I thought it was retro and looked cool. Um, we do have a 12 volt uh, cigarette lighter on both sides. Um, so my children like to typically charge their phones here. Um, so you have, you can see on the other side, there's some connections there. Uh, we do have the sea level two tank monitor system. I will tell you, um, as of the last time we went camping, um, it stopped working. So I didn't, I didn't troubleshoot it. Um, all the wiring's there. You might have to replace the module. Maybe it went bad or something. Um, and we also do have a JVC unit which is a stereo so you can play um, all your stuff it is a bluetooth unit so you can play off your phone as well there's a connection here to play movies if you want or if you want to play dvds you can open it up and there's a dvd player in here as well so all of that is really cool and there's remote control with that as well um, that is running off of the the um, coach batteries and there are three speakers right now there's one two and then there's one in the back as well so there's three speakers all of this front area um, does have storage under it, all under all the seats, and I'll show you that in one second. Um, but I want to show you more about the kitchen. So, um, starting off on this side of the kitchen, uh, we do have a Nova Cool, which is all DC um, and AC and DC fridge. So when you're hooked up to shore power, it'll run off the AC. But when you're running off grid, it is fully running off of 12 volt. Um, we have enough power in this um, this Airstream to run this thing for at least a week probably two weeks. Um, and you can see there's a really good size uh, refrigerator, but then also a really good size um, freezer as well in this. And it does have the locking, so when you're traveling, you just flip those two down and it locks those in place. Um, we do have a propane run um, range top. So this all runs off of the propane off the front. Uh, we've used it um, for a bunch of trips. And then you also have a um, oven which we've never used so that's brand new for you to use if you'd like um, we also added these ikea um, hanger bars which um, we do have a bunch of little hooks that go with those uh, here they are so there's a bunch of these like little hooks that you can put on here to hang all of your coffee mugs and your um, whatever's um, spoons those kind of things whatever you need to store also on this wall here um, we do have uh, maybe we'll rotate around. On this wall, we do have a magnet, um, so you can put uh, your knives and things that are metal can stick right on here. Great. Uh, we always put all our spices up here once we get to the campsite, so there's tons of spaces for all the spices. 
Um, and then up here is just kind of a place where you can stick stuff that you can even travel with. Um, lots of space up here. There's a mug up here and, uh, you know, a little mixer, hand mixer right now. But um, you can see that's all there, including the Wii Boost. This is the Wii Boost antenna on the inside of the, the, um, the Airstream. Uh, we did Corian countertops, so they're really easy to keep clean. You get that integral sink, which is really great. So these are a really high-end quality product. Um, over here, uh, cabinetry-wise, we have full-size kitchen cabinet drawers. Um, you have access down here to our charger slash. This is how we turn on and off. So if we're shutting off the system or turning it on, we can also read. Right now, we got 13.2 volts. Um, I'll also show you. And then we have all of our fuses for the air conditioning and for the main coach and then all of the dc stuff down here so um, all of that's brand new as well and it's all designed for lithium um, we do have these here uh, for the door catches so you basically click these this when you're when you're traveling close it now you can see it won't open um, i use this magnet here which you can see here and then you just oh man. There it is. And then that opens and then you just lock it so it just stays. So when we're actually at a campsite, we are have regular cabinets we don't have to worry about. Uh, these we actually use. Um, these, I actually open the door here. I reach under, there's a hole and you just stick it through the hole. It goes through the hole and then this, this basically won't open. When you get to the campsite, you pull these out for the drawers. I found it was better. We used to have um, uh, magnet catches and um, catches that uh, would uh, were tensioned and none of them worked really well. So this is the best way. So that's on this, this, it's on those two. And that's it. So you just pull those out real quick. The rest of them have those magnet catches on them. Underneath the kitchen sink, we have tons of storage, as you can see, a brand new pump for the, for the water pump. Um, and then we also have um, just traditional plumbing under there and all the, the shutoffs and and uh, moving water around the, the, the coach. Um, a really good size sink, as you can see. This also has a pullout so you can wash or you can you know, fill up a pot or whatever you need, which is great. Another light fixture here. These windows obviously open. You have some 110 outlets here. Um, if you wanted to put a fan up here, this is hooked up to the outside. We have it blocked off, but there's wiring up there already if you wanted to do that. Um, drawers, once again, a really good size. So we have tons of storage. You don't feel like you're away from home. And then. We keep our trash in here, really good size place for that as well, which is really nice. And then over here, we have another huge cabinet, um, as you can see, and then a full size drawer. Now this still has that tension piece on it. What we found, we don't use this drawer as much. What we found on the main drawers is this, these would break a lot. So this one's still good. I have some extra ones if you wanna, wanna th I can throw them with the deal. So um, the flooring is a vinyl sheet good. So the whole thing, it's a super thick high end one. So it costs us like five times what a normal uh, vinyl floor would cost, but it just rolled out. It's all one piece. You don't have to worry about anything getting in the cracks or expansion, contraction, anything like that, which is great on a, on a, um, RV like this. Um, so, so back in the front here again, uh, some things to point out. Once again, those max fans, I uh, just do hand open them. And then basically you can turn them on. There's multiple speeds here. You can send it in or out, uh, whatever you like, those kind of things. And uh, closes up really easy. We got three of those, one here, one over top of the table. And then we have the air conditioning unit here. You can see as well, that's brand new as well. The um, thermostat for the um, HVAC is also, actually it's in the back in the bedroom, I believe. Um, it's either there or here. I'm, I'd have to take a look at my notes. But um, And then this also has connectors to connect up to the stereo as well as the roof antenna. There's a, a TV antenna up there. That all goes here. We were thinking about putting a TV here. Um, we just didn't have a need for it. So if you wanted to add a TV, you, there's power here. There's coax here. There's also connections for the DVD player directly from the JVC unit. So you could have everything that you need to run a TV there if that was important to you. Um, some other cool things to point out here. Um, let me show you some of the storage here because I think it would be really helpful to kind of get an idea of how much storage this fan has or this coach has. So 
So this is one of the storage units here and you can see it's a really good size storage in there and it's all that um, sheet good flooring again. So it's all super clean. Um, that's one. Another one here. You can see we got tons of stuff in there as well. And then the corner units, they also have um, storage in those as well. But I want to show you those other two batteries that we were talking about. Okay, so you can see we've now, get my hat back on here. Okay, so you can see we've leveled the table now with the main uh, storage unit. Uh, this table also we built custom. It's a really beautiful, almost like art piece in my opinion. Um, and the reason I wanna do this is I wanna show you a couple things. Number one, I wanna show you up front here. So up front here, In the storage cabinet that we use the least, you can see we have two 300 amp, you can see here, here, 12 volt, 300 amp, two lithium battery packs on um, here. And you can see this one full power, that one full power. But we also have an app that we can show you. I'll, I'll take a screenshot of it and show you. I'll put it in the video right now. Um, that you can monitor these batteries as well, which is really cool. Um, last off, uh, you do have uh, DC to DC control there, so you can just uh, turn it on or off. Another cool feature we have in this van, which you won't be able to, or in this, uh, another cool feature we have in this Airstream is it does have a controller that will control your brakes on the Airstream from the Airstream versus having a brake controller on your vehicle. So the cool thing about that is you don't have to add a brake controller to your actual tow vehicle. This is already equipped to do that. So um, it does come with a remote control, but it also has a sensor that can feel when that, that uh, pressure is changing and it automatically applies the brakes for you. So um, still a lot of storage in front of those two batteries as well. So you can store a lot of really cool stuff in there as well. So that's cool, but check this out as well. Um, basically this coach is set up for four people comfortably, very comfortably, without using this as a bed. But when you use this as a bed, and all of these uh, cushions are made with um, the Sunbrella outdoor fabric, so if they do get wet or whatever, it's not as big a deal. Um, obviously, it's not a great idea to get any of your outdoor cushions wet or anything anyway, but you know, you're camping, so you're probably gonna get a little bit of some stuff wet. So, so, and then we take the, all the back pad cushions and you and add those in. And they're a little tight so that you don't get stuck in cracks. And now, you have another huge bed here, which you could sleep, honestly, you could sleep probably three crust here easily. But once again, I'm 6'2", and you can see I got, I got a lot of space on both sides. So, and then we got room for at least two more people. You know, one person could sleep there really comfortably. I did for two weeks when we brought our, our kids, uh, friends as well. So you can see, Tons of extra um, expansion space there, which is fun. So, uh, so now we're in actually the bunk room of the coach, and uh, this is where we've done some major modifications. Um, this coach would have originally come with basically just a armoire kind of storage area here in this portion of the trailer. Um, we replaced it with two bunks. 
Uh, these are actually U.S. Navy coffin lockers. They're made of aluminum. They're super lightweight. Um, we actually got them from a military surplus. And you can see, if you're familiar with a, a coffin locker from the U.S. military, it's exactly the same. It's even the same color in the inside. We painted the outside white just to match. Um, you have tons of storage here. Um, there's lockable storage if you're into that. And then uh, just a lot of storage. So this is great for your whole family because we would split the storage up. Um, my daughter would use one half, I'd use the other half. And then the lower, my wife would use half and my other daughter would use the other half. Um, if they want to lock it up, they can. There's also a little sneaky storage here. In here, you can, you can pull this and, and do it. That was actually for a breathing ap apparatus on a U.S. Navy ship. And then um, down here we have the other bunk, um, which also has the same scenario. So you can, it's got the storage um, piece and then the same amount of storage down here. So tons of storage for clothing and stuff. Between the front storage and the storage back here, you already have a ton of storage. You, have, you also have the storage in all the cabinets. You have a huge storage under the bed though as well as I'm gonna show. But one last little place is there's a lot of place under here for additional shoe storage and stuff. We never finished carpentry this. Um, you know, that's certainly something easy. You could put some curtains up or you could put some actual sliding doors or whatever you have a desire for. Um, one other cool thing, um, if you just back up a little bit, is we did put uh, curtains in here. So we have a curtain basically right here. You just gotta get over this uh, piece here. And that gives you that uh, privacy between the front and the back of the coach. Um, but what's really cool is also if you want to leave the windows and the back of the coach open or you want privacy between the back of the coach and the front, we added a second curtain here. Um, and you'll see that is a really nice privacy place as well. The beauty of this is if you leave this one here and you pull this one as well. Now you have a basically changing room within the center of the airstream, which is really nice. That kind of was a little thing we lucked out with that it's worked out really great. Um, my daughters like to have a little additional fans up here. So we have these um, actual USB fans. Uh, we just plug them into the USB outlet in their light here. Here's that additional speaker I was telling you about. If we are hooked up to shore power, there's a couple USB ports here as well as a couple in the bed in the back. Um, or you can run just a regular 110 outlet right off of here. So that's a nice feature as well. These lights are just a push button. So you just push them, they come on, you can dim them and you can direct them wherever you want to read and stuff like that. And then once again, there is a USB port in there as well, which is really nice. There's one there. There's also one down here. So if you are in the lower bunk, you have the same features. Oh, maybe that one doesn't work anymore. I can buy these off of Amazon for like 12 bucks. So if you want to add a new one, you can add that. Or, oh, there it is, it works. Okay, so, and that works as well. Um, and then that you can see has the USB cord in it um, where you can charge your phone or once again, use it towards um, the, uh, the fan. So we have one fan for each kid there. Um, on this wall here, if you back up a little bit, we have a storage hook for hats and all my lures for fishing and everything else. The bathroom is here. Um, we just use this one. We're, we're actually driving, so it doesn't move around. But you can see there's a door here. It's a sliding door. And from the inside, there's a lock. So you have a really private bathroom. It's not, I mean, someone truly can't get in there. And it gives you really nice privacy uh, with that sliding door. A um, couple other things in there is we do have a composite toilet. Um, so the composite toilet's a nature's head composite toilet. Um, there's a fan that moves air around and you do change out for the solids in the back. If you're not familiar with that toilet, I would just encourage you to look it up on YouTube or whatnot. Um, we did run this for um, urine, basically. So the urine goes to the gray tank. Um, it does not go. We do not have a blank black tank in this trailer. Um, we only have a gray tank and it's a 30 gallon gray tank. We have 42 gallons of fresh water. Um, I do have um, additional Corian to finish up the back piece there for somebody who wanted to finish this up as well as a seat in the shower. Um, and also the lighting in here, you can see there's uh, ceiling lights as well as this light. They're all separately controlled. Um, the sink does work just fine. It's perfect. It's all plumbed for fresh and everything. We use that all the time. Um, I do have another piece of Corian that goes in here as well to kind of finish this off. You just have to come up with some kind of panels for the front of the cabinet. I was just going to do solid panels there. 
Um, we do have a mirror that goes on here so that uh, you can put that, ro that round mirror um, there, which is nice. There's also for privacy, if you're a campsite and you want, you can pull the, the sh roller shades down. They're all brand new as well. The shower has not been finished. It is fully plumbed. Um, there, the water does work. You can see if you look down, um, there is a water valve there. That hose coming off of it actually does work. I got it just going into the drain. Um, this is a Curdy um, system, so I have all the parts and pieces for that for somebody who wants to finish a shower. We just never used it and didn't want to pick something that someone else might not like. So um, it is not finished, but it is easy to finish, I guess I could say. So now we're in the back of the coach. Um, we do have a queen size uh, memory foam mattress here. It's a true queen size. Um, it's from Tough and Needle or Needle and Tough, one of those two. Um, it's a, uh, a memory foam we ordered off of the internet. Um, it goes, uh, as you can see from um, its square, so it's not a curved mattress um, and it sits into a, a centerpiece here. Uh, beautiful light back here, as you can see, we do have the 110 outlet here, so if you do need to charge your phones and stuff, that's amazing. Um, there are lots of puck lights on the ceiling once again. Um, you do have these map lights, so you can read at night as well if you like. Um, and there's one on the other side as well. You can see that works as well. Uh, these all have roller shades as well, so if you do need to roller shade, you do need the privacy if you're at a campsite that's not as nice you can just pull that down you can see it's nice privacy Probably not. and then uh, the windows all do open um, except for the ceiling ones which are the um, vista windows uh, there is on the right side here as you can see i'm actually standing on the ground here on the edge so you can get in the bed easily you don't have to worry about getting through a little hole here which is a big deal we also have some hangers here on the wall for hats and things like that. And then we have that Wii Boost, which you can turn on and off right here. Uh, you can see that Wii Boost system is just basically a flip of a switch. There is one wiring that needs to be done still with a switch. You'd have to, it's a low voltage wire. I just haven't put the switch on. Um, I have some extra switches if you want them. Um, and basically you just have to wire this switch for the puck lights on the ceiling. They all do work. They're all wired to that. So. Um, one last thing is the actual bed. Um, it is on hydraulics, so you just lift, lift it very lightly here. And you can see underneath we have enormous amounts of storage. Um, we have a section in the front that um, is peek through through here, so you can put these uh, baskets. They do fit perfect. We'll include those as well just because they fit so good. Um, and then behind, just enormous amounts of storage, which is fantastic. One last thing, or two last things. Number one, we do have on the back side of the bed, we do have storage back here. It goes all the way to the ends. Um, you access it through here, so you do have this nice fold down uh, right here. And then the last thing is there are two working map lights on the front of the coach as well, which I'll point out real quick before we leave. So we're back at the front of the coach. I didn't point these out, and I just want to make sure you guys know that these work as well. There are little twist buttons. There's a map light here, and then there's another one over here where you just turn it on. And those are all LED as well. So everything in this van, or this camper, sorry, I'm a van person now, um, is LED. So you don't have to worry about burning through battery, but you have tons of it already. So I hope you enjoyed this tour. Uh, let me know if you have any additional questions. Uh, we believe this camper will sell quick because it's been done so good. Um, it's a really, really nice piece, or at least a starting piece for somebody. Thank you.